Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and today let's take a look at this. This is Matek F411 Wing, the younger, smaller brother, sister, or however we're gonna call it, of the famous F405 Wing, which is not only smaller and lighter because just... Let's take a look how small this is comparing to this one. The mounting holes are, I think, 20 millimeters apart. I wonder if I have... Oh, yeah. Uh, let's compare this with any other flight controller. For example, this thing I'm showing very, very often. This is Omnibus M7, first generation. And it's even... It's hard to tell it's smaller, but it's slightly different form factor and it's really like comparing to this one, it's really, really tiny. You can easily fit it on almost every aeroplane over there. I'm, if you would really want to, you might probably run a drone on it, but yeah, that doesn't make much sense. If we go to a weight, then the weight, let's compare. F405 is uh, how much? 27 grams, while this one is only 12. Oh, you're not saying 12. 9? Uh, 12, you see? It's 12 and um, this one is 28, 27 grams. So, lighter version. Why the lighter version? Because, truth to be told, not everyone requires everything that 405 Wings really gives you. It has how many UARTs? Uh, six UARTs, one soft serial, two ITCs, two motors, seven servos, four voltage regulators, current sensor up to 100 amps. It's a lot. Um, my S800 Putting this on my S600 is like an overkill. Putting this on my infamous Nano Talon is like an overkill. This is why we have something like this. This is smaller, lighter, has only two hardware seri serial ports. One soft serial, which TX, which can be used to connect the smart port telemetry. Only one I to see, two motors, only, only five servos. Only three voltage stabilizers and current sensor goes only up to 78 amps. So, for reasonably heavy and reasonably small flying wing or, or a full-scale airplane, this is really more than enough. Okay, yeah, it's only two yards, so you cannot really use everything you would ever imagine, but this is, this is not the target. Why? Why this is smaller? First thing is, of course, because there are less connections everywhere uh, and also because this is a new generation of the STM32F4 CPU on that thing. Instead of going with F405, which is really a big and bulky, let's see, big and bulky, uh, I don't know how big the package is, but it's relatively big. Instead of this, we have only this small F411, which is really, really smaller and lighter and cheaper, because let's be honest, it has to be cheaper. Plus, there is no black box. You cannot, well, you can if you really want to, but there is no either integrated internal flash memory and there is no black box slot. So you cannot really record your flights. You can sacrifice one of the UARTs and send it to open lock to, to work it, but then you would have to sacrifice the UART. So it maybe maybe it doesn't make sense. I did not flew this yet. This this very unit, this one will go to my rebuilt nano talon um, because I want to make it lighter and Maybe now it will be like, let's say, flying, flying well. Um, and unfortunately, it will probably take, I don't want to say a month, but probably it will be at least one month because in the beginning of the September, I will have some personal issues to resolve so so yes yeah. so don't expect me to write um, right no I'm not writing right now 
to shoot a full full review of this flight controller. Not yet. Not yet. Right now, I can only say that this thing really looks very, very interesting and really is probably, if you're not expecting everything, uh, it's a good option to consider when you want to have something of a flying wing or a regular airplane up to, let's say, one kilogram when you only want to fly and have an OSD and uh, use standard telemetry and SBUS so or Sky or Tar Crossfire or, or, or whatever there is and you don't need really everything so there will be no camera control no what else can we have there uh, all that that stuff you don't use plug a GPS and that's all all the connectors are, are just gone um, also, the vertically installed the USB connector. To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is durable enough. Yeah, okay. Um, I did not broke any of those, and I have two of those on the airplanes. Uh, so maybe I don't know. It's <sighs> okay. Never mind about my about me going in. Let's take a look at the differences in the INAV configurator of differences. No, the features of the INAV configurator in the INAV. Con Damn, features of Matek F411 in INAV configurator right there. So I already flashed this board with the. Mm, INAV 2.0, so you will really see INAV 2.0. There are no visible changes besides the... Okay, I have what I have. I have nanotalon already configured on this because, like I said, this board will go into nanotalon. So there, there are only five servos, servo outputs. If you go over here to the servos, you will see only three because only three are required for the nanotalon. And please remember that the servo name or index or whatever they're what you're gonna call it has nothing to do with the order of servo outputs on the board. The only difference comparing to other things that you might notice is when you go to a ports and this list is very short because we are kind of like spoiled with modern flight controllers that you have at least four, five or six serial ports and you connect whatever you want over there. This is like going back to the NASA 32 times when you had only two UARTs and two soft serials. Here it's slightly better because USB is not shared with UART 1 and soft serial. Okay, it's almost the same. So the suggested uh, setup is that UART 1 goes to serial RX S bus while the soft serial 1 goes to smart port telemetry and you have UART 2 free. Free. If you are using INAV, it will probably be the GPS because it come on it's INAV. It kind of makes sense to put a GPS on it, but you don't really have to. You can connect, I don't know, like I said, external black box on the open log hardware or run camp or drive um, VTX over the smart audio or Trump uh, protocol, whatever you want. Everything else is come on, it's. It's the same. It's the same INAV, you know, without any other special features. Besides, compare. Oh, and there's OSD, of course, because there is an OSD. Comparing to 405 or any other flight controller, but in the smaller form factor. It should work just like that. Okay, that's all. That's all about the Matek 411 for today. Like I said, I'm fairly optimistic. It should help to make my nanotalon lighter and maybe finally it will fly well. I doubt it, but uh, maybe, who knows. And, uh, and yeah, mm, for the review, the full review of this board, we will have to wait. Um, give me some time, please, because really um, it's complicated and <laughs> I have life, life to live, but Let's wait. We will see. Fairly optimistic. 
yeah other other channels are highly recommending this board i will not recommend it per se yet i'm only saying that probably this is very good and uh, the build quality is good this this nice thingy is good the chokes are big so the voltage stabilizer is probably big it's fine it's like okay 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 i i think i went i went slightly too far i think that's all for today please visit the links in the description and my excellent fpv shopping list where i try to put my recommendations for different builds equipment and and stuff uh, like I said many times, it's not everything I see on Banggood Lens on this list. No, it's something I own, owned, or very much would like to own because I know it's it's fine, it's good, it's really good, and and good for the for the price. So probably this is why some of the stuff I would like to put there are not there yet. Yeah, okay. Okay, I went uh, again one step too far. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye.